Okay, this is our second video where LargeScaleNews.com is going to take an HPI Baja 5B, which is normally gas powered. We're going to make it into an electric brushless car. We're going to use the Castle Creations Baja Conversion Kit, which you see on the left side of your screen, which we did an unboxing video uh, previous to this. Uh, today we're going to look at all the parts we're going to utilize for this build. We're very unfamiliar with this battery technology, so we called the guys who are the experts. We called Max Amps. This is the battery that they suggest. It's also the battery used in a lot of the online reviews and magazines. So let's take a look at what you get. You get your warning card. You get your instructions on how to charge it. All of Max Amp's batteries are made fresh the day you order them. So here you got their quality control checklist, which I think is kind of cool. You see everybody's signature here and information on your order. Let's open it up. Battery is not as heavy as, as it looks. It's a pretty light battery. They're, this is their 6500 milliamp, 14.8 volts, true 150C rating. Large power cords, you can see that they, these are the connectors that they suggested. So these are the connectors we're gonna go ahead and use. It's the balancing cord there. Now let's take a look at our tires. We're gonna use GRP tires. GRP tires are good quality tires, good quality foams, great strong rims, but most of all they're light and we wanted to keep this build light. So we're going to go ahead and stick with these wheels and tires. They're glued on as opposed to the heavy beadlock rings with screws on the inside and outside. So this is what we're going to use on our street build. In keeping it light, we're going to add some carbon fiber. We're going to use the carbon fiber from TGNDistributing.com. That is their rear chassis plate. We're going to add their front chassis brace. We're going to utilize all the pin braces that they make and also their shock tower that they make for the rear. We're also going to add RPM A-arms. These are the pro first products that RPM made for the HPI Baja. Still the most popular because they add a lot of strength and rigidity to the chassis, but also keeping the car very light. So we're gonna utilize those. We're also gonna add the Dark Soul Axle Extender Kit for the front and the rear. This should widen up the footprint, make it a little more stable on on-road. This is their tubes. These go on your inside and outside drive cups, which will increase the strength and keep them from splitting open. We're also gonna utilize their uh, version three dog bones, which we don't have here today, but they will be used in our kit. As with all of our builds, we utilize the Team Fast Eddy professional bearings. So we're gonna be installing these wherever we can today. We're also gonna use his steel front hub ball cones. These just make installation of the front end a little bit faster and easier for us. And last but not least, we're gonna add the Baja Skunk Works front brake kit. This will increase the weight by a little bit, but the parts are machined in a very lightweight fashion and they're carbon fiber rotor, so we don't think it'll hurt too bad. Uh, we think it'll make driving on the uh, street conditions pretty fun, so th this part will be added to our, our build. That's about it for now. Why don't we go and open up the brand new shiny Baja 5B?